This week, there are two categories. We have creative dance, and there is a three-man call-out round. This creative dance is going to be a circus thing. They are really, you know, they masterminding a little get-together, and they don't want to include camera. Why? I'm a bad member jammer when it comes to something going on with camera. I think you were being real messy by going to her. Are you serious? Yes. Right Can you pull that knife right there? The whole circus coming together with the ringleader in the middle? Insane. Come in a little bit more. Um, Destiny, step outside the door and ask the parents to come in for a second. Hurry up, please. Well, it's a new week, and I've got some tough challenges, and the DDP, they need to be a part of this. All right, so I brought the parents in so that everybody understands what's going on. As you all know, and I've said this before, at the end of the competition season, I will be taking five dancing dolls and five baby dancing dolls to a national competition to compete on a national level. And in four weeks, exactly one month, I'll be holding auditions for those five spots. I will be looking to see who has the versatility and whose dancing is the most diverse. And those five that I feel like are ready to compete nationally will go to the competition. But here's the thing. There is majorette, hip hop, jazz, contemporary, modern, tap, liturgical, ballet. It's everything. Faith has had so much training in other styles of dance. This is right up her alley. I would love for her to have the opportunity to compete against other girls with all these different genres. You have to be diverse. Some of you still have not talked to Mr. Tory about getting any one-on-one -on -one help, and he does do private lessons. Nobody has asked him. You cannot just rely on majorette and hip hop. It is not going to work, not at a national competition. It's not a national majorette competition. Are you listening? Does everybody understand? Yeah. Wonderful. So, with that being said, DDP, get out the door. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all heard the information. Yeah. Y'all heard about the information. We're getting ready for yeah. national, so y'all better get your kids ready. Y'all already yeah. know she's looking at mine. And y'all know with a national competition, they do need to know a lot of styles of dance. I'm trying to get Christiana to learn different styles. I even have got her some classes with her, but it's not nearly enough. I only have a month to get her trained the best way I can. Even though she's never gone to a national competition before, Faith can do a lot of the styles. Y'all give y'all girls some extra classes. Well, at least I need to start. To. And she don't have any chance. I want Christiana to have this so bad. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get her trained and ready. No more missed opportunities. We're gonna do this. This week, we're gonna be competing in the Spring Bucktacular Competition at Holmes Community College in Goodman, Mississippi. The teams that you're gonna be competing against this week, there's Tip Tap Toe. We've never competed against them before. F3 Entertainment. I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring a little bit more of an edge. Also, the last team we're competing against is Purple Diamonds. We haven't seen Purple Diamonds since last competition season. Purple Diamonds is known for high energy. Purple Diamonds is known for personality. Purple Diamonds is known for a lot of things. They're also our hometown rival. I'm pretty sure they're gonna wanna walk away with the win this week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, people. If you're the only one up, you're probably wrong, okay? Again. The Purple Diamonds are definitely going to come out on top at this competition because they're not going to be ready for what we have in store. Buck! Buck! Those dancing dogs are going to be bucking all over y'all if y'all dance like that. Give them some sass, some swag. Purple Diamonds are the number one team in Jackson, Mississippi. I plan to just come at the dogs with everything that I have. I can't wait to see the look on Diana's face. One, two, three. Let's get it! This is your former team. So I'm pretty sure everybody is going to be looking to see, oh, Madison went over to the Dancing Dolls. What is Madison gonna do? Is Madison gonna make cuts? Is Madison gonna even be out there? So hopefully you make cuts, because if not, they're gonna have a whole lot to talk about. 
this is the day I have not been looking forward to because we're going up against my old team and my old friends probably think I'm a traitor. So I just want to go up against them to show them that I made the right decision. And there are two categories. We have creative dance and there is a three-man call-out round. This creative dance is going to be a circus-themed routine. One of the main things a circus has to have in order to run is a ringleader. The ringleader is like the captain of the circus, so to speak. The ringleader has to be animated. The ringleader has to be able to tell a story. The ringleader has to have stamina and be able to dance throughout the entire routine. So after a lot of deliberation, I've decided, Faith, you're gonna be the ringleader. I picked Faith because she has given me so much personality. Ringleader sets up the entire thing. So that means your personality has to be over the top. Uh-uh, she chose my baby, yes. Well, you know that means she's closer to being part of that top five, because if she'll choose her to be the ringmaster of the whole performance, oh, she's looking at her. This is a great sign. Faith has only been here a little under two years, and Coach D is already trusting her with a lead role. The hard work that Faith has been putting in, it's finally starting to pay off. For the call-out round, if you are grades seven through nine, raise your hand. Seventh graders, eighth graders, and ninth graders. You are the only ones that qualify to compete in a three-man call-out round this week. This age thing, it's a new rule for the competition, but I actually kind of like it, though. It gives some of the girls who have never had a chance to be in the call-out round an opportunity to get up there and get it. So if you're up for the challenge and you want to do the three-man call-out round, when we get ready to go through cuts for that, make sure you step onto the plate. It's the call-out yeah. round. Only seventh grade through the ninth grade. Christian is definitely a yes, but the other two spots, I don't know about those. Well, Princess, it's a shoe-in. Shoe-in. Uh-oh, okay. Really? Well, of course she's getting in if Diana is training her to be the next captain. Yeah. I never knew you trained captains from the back row, and that's the row Princess on. She gonna tear that back row up. This is definitely Maddie's opportunity to step up and show what she's made of and what she can do. Anne is a new DDP, and she's been trying to make a place for her and her daughter, Madison, ever since they came over from Purple Diamonds. But Madison is young, and she doesn't have a lot of dancing doll experience, so to get an opportunity like this, I'm sure it will mean the world to her. Well, I could just tell you this. If she bomb in front of the Purple Diamonds and the dancing dolls, right. she can't live in Jackson no more. So let me explain the show so everybody understands what's going on. Within the circus, not only is there a ringleader, there's the animals. There's the silly clowns. There's the crazy clowns. They have people that are walking on stilts. So for hours, we're gonna do the circus dancing doll style. How big would she go with this whole thing? We talking about some elephants and lions and tigers. I, I wouldn't put it past her. When Coach G does the creative, she goes overboard with everything. Well, you already got a zebra right here. Ooh. Zebra at the bottom with a cheetah up top of the heat. Dana. What? I'm a little hungry, you know. Why don't you come, won't you come and go to Wings out with me? Okay. Come on, don't come on. No okay. fuss. Just come with that me. Was, that was a different type of ass. Yeah, just come with me. Okay. Welcome to the circus. Take off. If anybody thought that I was gonna come out here and cut corners and do some basic circus, they could think again. Hey, the Ringleader Group, the Diana M. Williams Circus is gonna have everything. My circus, ba 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 boom group. Come on. Around bop bop lean and lean, drop slide. I want the judges to feel like they're at a real circus so much they're looking around for the peanuts and freaking cotton candy. Clowns come line up. We had to get away from the other DDPs. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Wait. Well, girl, I have a perfect plan. Okay. How to land Christiana and Faith in two of those spots for national. Out of the five? Yes. Girl, what is this? How? You know, we can't talk about it around here because I'm pretty sure nosy people want to know what we're talking so about. Why do you want to talk? Because I really want to hear this. We got to meet up tomorrow. You know, okay. Meet up somewhere. I don't know why Ridney's acting like some undercover cop, but I'm interested. Go tomorrow. Link up. Oh, I can't tell nobody. You, you get tell... a little too excited I'm about stuff. I'm not going to tell him. I'm not going to tell him. Baby, what did you bring me to? Last night, Brittany made a big fuss about us meeting up, so here we are. 
Let's see you good. That's your strawberry cheesecake and your mango. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. So, um, what are we here for? Girl, so you know, I just thought we both can be handy to each other. Okay. We always talk about the diversity when it comes to Christiana and faith. People feel like Christiana can do all styles of dance. I know I can use a little lyrical in jazz. I know you can use the hip hop major yes. side. I like where Brittany's going with this, even though I have no clue what she really wants to do. Well, my idea is a workshop and get them together. I want to keep it small, Christiana and Faith. So, so it's just like a Faith and Christiana workshop. Small. Okay. But you do know Sunjay's in town and she been training. Yes, and being that she go to a performing arts school, school, she can like, probably help She him. should know. I think yeah. Sunjay's a good idea. So you know if you invite Sunjay, we got to invite Stars, Star and Sky. Sky. And I'm yeah. fine with that because they play their role. They don't try to yeah. do too much. Let's maybe ask Angela and Angel. Yeah, they're quiet. Okay. But we don't want to be a dancing dog workshop. Yeah. We don't want to make it too big because we want the kids to get what they need. Let's make it a workshop slash slumber party. That would be fun. Just keep low. it on the low. So this is going to be like a whisper and only a few girls. Yes. Okay. I need Christian to have personal intense training. The more people we throw in this thing, the more it become a party. And Christiana don't get a chance to work on what she needs to. I'm not doing this to help every other dancer in the dollhouse. Make the list. Go ahead and write um, the name, Sam. Uh-uh. See, that's evidence. What's going on with you? Haven't seen y'all since the other day. I know. You showing that phone? Who you taking? None of your business. You got a boyfriend. <laughs> yep, she do. And she blushing and laughing. Better not be that boy with that thought hat. Oh. Um, Neither one of y'all better have no boyfriend. I am or single. Anything like that. No boys or nothing yeah. right now. Y'all got nationals coming up? Yeah, we've been trying to fake Y'all nervous? A little bit. Yeah, team, it's a lot to be nervous about. It's nationals and not just a regular competition, so. So, what are y'all doing to prepare for nationals? Uh, Christiana invited us to a slumber party workshop. Well, that's good. All y'all could use the extra help, so that's good. But it's not all of us. What you mean, not all of y'all? It's only a select few. So who's invited to this slumber party workshop besides y'all two? Okay, see, we're not supposed to tell you this because it's a secret. You don't keep no secrets. <laughs> From what I know, I think the other set of twins are going to be there. Star and Sky. Star and Sky, yeah. Uh, Faith. I know Christiana. Christiana. Mm -hmm. Faith. Star and Sky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what about Cameron? It's for people who actually really need help. Like She's the captain, so she should go. I don't know about that because I kind of want to keep my invitation. Yeah, it's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> yeah. Well, damn, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Something fishy about this. You gotta keep it on the hushers. Okay. with the purple diamonds, they're gonna come very, very strong and creative. So this week, everybody better be ready. Even though I've already got a lot going on with my circus creative, I wanna bring in a dancer who is gonna give a little bit of razzle-dazzle and something different. All right, so we have a special guest from New York City. Her name is Miss Jaylene Rodriguez. Jaylene is going to be playing the contortionist. You know, if you go to a circus, there's always this one person that can bend their body in ways that's just unimaginable. And just so you know, they have to go to a national competition in about four weeks. So you compete nationally, right? Yes. So is it intense? Very, very intense, because there's so many talented people. She's been a part of that world. You'll get a chance to see what she's actually able to do, OK? It's great for the girls to be able to meet and see someone dance who's been in the fire of these national competitions. She had the whole room. She shut the whole building down. I was like, ooh, she turned herself into a ball. The crowd's going, love it. Caution. Dance, dance, dance like it ain't no tomorrow. No tomorrow. Dance, dance, dance like it's no time to ball. Time to ball. 
twist her body like a pretzel in a ballpark. It is so many elements to this creative this week. I mean, all the way to the freaking kitchen sink. I just hope that we can pull it off, though. Yeah. You know what? I'm hungry. Girl, come on, let's go get some wings. Well, I can use a yeah. wing or two. Yes. Yeah. I hope you paying. Reason you got me coming yeah, down here trying to get some wings. I want it out. Talk about what we got to talk about. Um, I got wind from the twins mm -hmm. about how Dana and Whitney, you know, they masterminding a little get together. They're planning like a little slumber party sleepover thing, and they don't want to include Cameron. Why? Well, you know me, I don't want to stir up trouble. It's more than just a slumber party. It's more so of a workshop for the Nationals. The twins are getting invited? Well, they did. I didn't want to let them go. But, you know, they could use the extra practice. Why like wouldn't they want to include Cameron? Well, I'm thinking that Dana and Whitney doesn't want to have Cameron because they're, you know, unsure if Cameron's going to take their child's position for the Nationals. I guess she's just a <laughs> major threat to a lot of them. It kind of burns me up a little bit that these DDP can be so cutthroat when it comes to their daughters. Everybody watch out. I'm a bad mamma jamma when it comes to something going on with Cameron. It is what it is. Let the pettiness begin. OK, good looking out. I got you. I got you. One, two, and three, four, five. Stop, Derek, bye. Bye. I have got to count. You have to count. The circus performance has to be more than fun and full of tricks. The dancing needs to be precise and perfect. And let's not forget, we have not had the best track record when it comes to these creative dances. So we have to get this dance together. One, two, and three, four, five. You got one more time to mess up and you gonna sit down again. This whole circus theme routine, it looks sloppy and the contortionist damn sure ain't gonna save us. They better get it together and I mean fast because the competition against the Purple Diamonds this week is gonna be serious business. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Anaya! This is one, I just said that. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. Ready, do it again. No, look at Faye, baby. Oh, I saw her, but I've been watching her. Brittany and Dana just didn't invite Cameron to this little slumber party slash workshop that they're having because I guess they're afraid of their competition. Hmm, seems a little shady to me. Well, let's get straight to the point. Brandon told me about the little slumber party workshop that y'all were having to get ready for nationals. Mm -hmm. And that my daughter, the head, Captain wasn't invited, and not y'all either. So, anybody want to explain that to me? Brandon twins are tripping. I knew it. Brandon runs behind me, me like her little help, so it don't surprise me at all that he ran and told me me. We just trying to make sure our girls are straight for nationals. Well, you know it's only five slots. I thought you didn't know what was going on. That's what I thought. Oh, that ungrateful bitch. After all we've done together, ever since she came back from Divas of Olive Branch, she's turned into somebody I don't even recognize. And it's real cute that you don't invite the captain. You she don't, already don't. knows how to do everything. You are. Faith is the ringmaster. That's why she don't need a, a workshop. Well, let me make I sure I right. let Cameron know what is going it's on. But the thing girls. is on this team. OK, why can Cameron be invited? A, just a freaking workshop. We, we didn't invite, invite 40 girls. everybody because we didn't want it to get crazy. Like, you know how the girls take oh, over. Oh, yeah, I do know how other girls will feel. Would y'all girls be offended by that? Absolutely. Because, 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 because you know at the end of the day, we didn't have I'm not talking to y'all. You don't know. 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 You
the car. car. No, she doesn't the have a need for. She needed the workshop. I wasn't trying to exclude nobody. I was just trying to get what Christiana needed to get her into one of the top five spots. Can you pull that knife right there? You got a muffin. Got you some of your hot fries. So tonight is going to be cuts for the call out round. How are you feeling about that? I'm nervous. But you still have a lot to bring to the table. You're a very strong dancer. So tonight it cuts. I do not want you to hold back. I won't. I want you to leave it all on the floor. You just got to go out there and give Miss Diana your all because we want this opportunity right here. I'm gonna give him my all. With all the madness going on on the porch right now, I cannot lose focus on what's important, and that's Madison making cuts this week. Believe in yourself, because I believe in you. Oh, they here. They just sitting in their car. Everybody in their feelings, you know, after yesterday, you know, whatever. Yeah. I look around, and I see Mimi just sitting in her car. Tanisha is in her car. Brittany is in her car. Why even be here? You know what? They're probably plotting something else without us yet once again. You know, and Dana, yes, she is. You can't trust nobody that wear a lot of makeup. I got to watch, because Faith is the ringleader this week, and I don't want to miss a beat. Right. You know, Mad is supposed to be up for call out, so. Yeah. I'm nervous, girl. Yeah, we need to watch this. Exactly. All right, we're going to do cuts for call out round. I need the um, girls that are seventh grade through ninth grade to come up here. Everybody else move right here. Come up, please, and spread all the way out. Go down, side by side. See every man for himself. Let's go. Call out round this week is only seventh grade through ninth graders. We're gonna do a practice battle at practice. Canary. Canary, choose. And this call out round, the girls are gonna be going up against some of the best dancers from other teams. So that means they have to be poised, keep it together, and be super, super confident. Christiana? Christiana's really, really good. And whatever nerves and issues that she's had back in the day, she's not having those issues now. Four, three, two, and one. I think Christiana, because her choreography was a lot more difficult. All right, so Haley up against Francis. Princess is definitely a powerhouse, but she's really inconsistent and she gets nervous. Uh, princess. Madison has a lot of talent, but she's really young and you just never know what's gonna happen with her. I'm really, truly impressed with what I saw. But I only need three dancers, so it's gonna be a really tough decision. And going up against Purple Diamonds this week, that means there can be no mistakes. None. All of y'all did a really good job. However, the one person I know for a fact that has a spot is Christiana. The second person is Princess. Madison, you and Canary both, I'm torn between the both of you. I think that you guys are evenly matched in height, in power. However, I'm gonna go with Canary. She's a vet and she's faced this kind of pressure before. This is your first time going against the Purple Diamonds. You just came away from their team. If you get out there and one mistake, you and I both know, they're gonna rip you apart, are they not? 
All right, y'all can go. Girl, I'm sorry, Ann. I'm sorry. As a mom, it's always so hard to see your child get cut from an opportunity that she had, especially when you know that she wanted it so bad. Dad and Mr. Tory said they care about my feelings. And how do you feel about that? I feel that I can control my feelings. I feel that I still could have did it. Mm -hmm. I feel like you could have did it, too. I really wanted to go out there and, you know, like, whoop they ass. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you wasn't giving opportunities over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's going to be all right, though. Okay. <laughs> you a little bit stronger than your mama, huh? Can so we you go good? now? Yep, yeah, we can go. my heart to see how bad Madison and Ann was affected. I mean, I've had enough of this. We gotta stop. I know that Rittany wanted to keep the workshop small, but I mean, this thing is bigger than this. What's up? We initially was like, you know, our girls need to work on it together. But after just seeing Maddie get cut. She got cut? Yes. And then Ann crying. I'm like, oh my God, it's way too much. So maybe we should just extend it to her after what just happened tonight. I just know how I feel to shed those tears. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and fight medicine. You damn sure better open it up to everybody else at that point. No, 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 you ain't gonna do that. It's very awkward. Me and Ann, the only one on the porch. All y'all sitting in y'all car pissed. What you gonna do? Watch Christiana from the car? You gonna miss all of this? What's going on? That ain't even in your nature. OK. All right. I let everybody know that everybody's invited to the workshop that's gonna turn into a sleepover so we can kill the chaos. Sounds great, girl. Extend it. Then you're gonna bring it back in. Your right here. No. Your earrings. I'm really loving getting extra help for nationals, and I'm also excited that Christiana and Faith invited me to come. I'm not putting it out of your I'm going to. glad you came, because I Girl. know you didn't want to. You know, I'm still wondering why we doing this, because, you know, it wasn't a big deal, but people have made it such a big deal, yeah. so. With everybody's tension so high, I thought it was best that the moms and I, we go out for drinks at a Mexican restaurant, you know, talk over margaritas, and hopefully everybody can calm down after that. Everybody just going loco, <laughs> like loco, yes. and I don't have time I agree. It. Hopefully they come in. We order some drinks, order some food, everybody chill. Well, okay, this this what it is? What an appetite. Why why y'all going through taking all the knives out of everything? Oh, this Cause is it's a, a lot of knives and fucking I thought this is a come together me. We don't have friends, we have backstabbers. Because as a friend, that's what you do. You don't hide anything. You don't have secrets within this organization. Take hey, a seat. Hello. Hello. Hi, you up? ladies look nice. Thank you. Thank That's you. Good. Waiter, we need more margaritas, shots, tequila. Keep them coming. Don't stop. So y'all sure y'all want us to sit this table since our dogs are not like the real part of dogs. I have a hill to climb here. These moms have showed up with an attitude. This is not going to be easy. Now, we're here to come together. Take a sip of the drink. Mimi. I just want to apologize if you feel like we left you out. And definitely you well, and Tanisha. That was not the thank you. thing. Brittany. I don't think I did anything wrong when I was just looking out for the best interest of Christiana. But at the end of the day, it's about the girls. I apologize to y'all. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. 
and I'm gonna accept your apology and move on because this is about the kids, not about the mom. Now that we're back to basics, y'all want these shots? Absolutely. Oh, yes, Let's see who a punk or not. Tequila. <laughs> Salute. to beat the dancing doll. Are we ready? Yes! Did we come to play? No! Are y'all ready to shine bright? Yes! Shine bright like what? A diamond! All right. I want to tell Diana and the dolls today, you might want to sit back and take some notes because we really have a show to put on for you. Let's get it on three. One, two, three. Let's get it! All right, everybody, pay attention. Today, the characters are the most important of the entire show. And I want you guys to sell it to the judges. Literally make them feel like they are at Dancing Doll Circus Olay. Y'all put on a show today. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right, deep, deep, folks. Deep, deep, folks. Heads bowed, eyes closed. Lord God, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of dance. We always say thank you for the gift of dance because the gift of dance is what brought us all together. You have brought us together to become a larger family. We know it's with your will, Lord, that we will get out here and do what we're supposed to do. And in your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Expect for the Purple Diamonds to come with a hell of a lot of energy. Tip Tap Toe is a great dance studio in Louisiana and F3 Entertainment. They're definitely an up and coming team and one to watch. We're coming up for a real battle today. Let's bring out our first team from Jackson, the Purple Diamonds! Madison being at Purple Diamonds, she kind of missed out on opportunities that I felt like she deserved. If we were to lose to them, I would be sick. <laughs> Purple Diamonds and the Dancing Dolls have been rivals forever. Ever since Purple Diamonds was born, we've had issues. Why two teams can't coexist in the same damn city, I don't know. But I know cattiness and pettiness has always existed and they're gonna never go away. Better call it mastery, cause it's about to get real messy. The Purple Diamonds are known for our precision, our high energy, our swag. We intend to blow the competition right across state lines. Bye-bye. From the tip top, down to my knees, I'm an animal. I've been in the game with Purple Diamonds a long time, and I've never seen them do anything to this caliber. She had cheerleaders, she had the drill team, she had the football players. They like a real football game. Like, go on, Shanika. Ton twirlers, tap. I'm talking about little bitty feisty jazz dancers. Oh my gosh. Now it's time to get to team number three. All the way from Louisville, Kentucky. It's F3 EAT. T came out with this Matrix inspired routine. They had these huge letters for props. This routine was excellent. It was well put together. Even though the girls had a lot of hair going on, ain't nothing wrong with a little extra weed sometimes. Ticket to Circus Soleil when you have the dancing dolls under the big top. Yeah, yeah. The rest of the 
girls join Faith out there on the floor, and the energy from the crowd and the looks on the judges' faces was amazing. Contortionist. Like, she didn't play no games. This was something I've never seen up close in front. And this little girl, she killed it. Phenomenal. I'm loving the costumes. I'm loving the face painting. We have the clowns. We have all the characters. Dancing dolls have set the bar very high today. with at least one girl from each team going head to head in every round. 60 seconds of freestyle, and let's see who's gonna bring more to the table. I remember when this was only a dream. Yeah. With the captain spot opening up in a year, I wanna see who really is gonna step up to the plate and get the job done. And that's why this is so important. on my mind. When Christiana started dancing, she let them know she did not come to play. That's Christiana. We're making our presence very known in the building. All right, ladies, we got to go to the judges on this one. The Dancing Dolls! Tip Tap Toe School of Dance! The Dancing Dolls! All right, ladies, that's one out of three. You got two more to go. DJ! And these girls are very strong dancers. So Canary needs to go out there and take it guns a blazing if she wants to win this one. big risk with Princess because during the solo category, the first competition of the season, she fell. Oh! Princess had better kill it because if she does not, she can forget doing a solo ever. This is the last and final round right here. but this is my chance to go out there and show everybody that doubted me that I can do this.
smell broom, honey, because we just whipped all three rounds. Thank you, teams, and we are about to move into our award ceremony. Now, the dancing dolls, they killed that call out round. Now, the only thing left to see is who won creative. And I'd be damned if I lose to the Purple Diamonds. All right, in our creative dance challenge, first place, yo, Sue. Thank you, Faith. She did an amazing job. Knowing that Coach D are looking for five girls for nationals, we are sliding in there. She is showing Coach D, I can do this. So congratulations, you guys, on your win. Amazing job this week. Amazing, amazing job. Call out round, Canary, Christiana, Princess, all of you guys did an amazing job. a lot of choices for this national competition that's at the end of the season. It's gonna be a serious battle for those five spots. And there's only one month left to go. Everybody better buckle up because here we go. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. 